Hi, I'm Zach Walker, City Manager for the City of Independence. Welcome back to our City Manager Job Shadow Program. Had to take a long break because of COVID, but we're back again. Today we're going to be following our uh, Street Maintenance Division as they focus on pothole repair. Here in the Midwest, we have a vicious freeze-thaw cycle that creates a lot of havoc on our streets. Uh, we have over 1,200 lane miles here in Independence that we're responsible for maintaining. So today I'm with Zan McKinney, who is our street superintendent in our municipal services division. Now we may have seen Zan before when we did our ride along with water pollution control and our um, stormwater and sanitary sewer uh, job shadows that we did last year. So Zan, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit now about your side of the operations with street maintenance and some of the responsibilities you have during the summertime? Okay. Uh, well, like I said, we have the uh, uh, 1,200 lane miles of road that we have to oversee. Um, everything from potholes, uh, full mill and fill, full depth street repairs, uh, crack sealing operations, uh, curbing, whether it be con concrete for the sidewalks or uh, um, the, the curbs or the, some of our concrete roads that we have. Um, we also have um, mowing lots and everything that, that we maintain as well. It's a kind of a varied, uh, varied assortment of stuff. And then the, the last phase that we have are the sign shop, which handles all the signs, uh, street, maven, street and pavement markings, things like that. Now, Zay, I'm putting you on the spot here, but do you know approximately how many pothole uh, service requests you get each year? Um, actually, yeah, we, uh, uh, we generally fix um, between nine and 11,000 potholes a year. Um, we actually get uh, about 1,500 of those in via request. Uh, the rest are either found by our staff or um, we just start you know, out driving around, so. Absolutely. So part of our milling and paving operations that we do in house um, are smaller patch repairs such as this. So that attachment on the front end of the Bobcat is our mill head. And you can set that and adjust that to anywhere between uh, two inches and six inches in depth. And they'll go through and they grind out that surface level of the asphalt to get down to a sub base that's a little bit stronger and better to, to hold up the asphalt better. The idea is that once you grind that out, it just turns it into that gravel pavement right there. We'll come back through on the back end and we'll take a sleeper attachment and pull all that out. And leaves you, like I said, two to three inches is generally what we mill back at um, to, to every surface. And that allows us to go back in and get asphalt that will hold in place for a much longer period of time than it's traditional asphalt patch or um, a crack seal operation. Okay, what are we seeing here? So uh, our crews are going in. The first thing they're doing when they're prepping this is you see that liquid on there, that's tack oil. Okay. Uh, that tack oil is the same emulsifier that's actually in the asphalt itself. Yeah. That is what helps bond the asphalt the new asphalt to the older existing asphalt. Yeah. And uh, they've cut out, like we were seeing up there, we've done the mill here. Yep. We've okay. already got the mill done and they've already gone back, swept it out. They blew it back out to get all the fine particles out. Uh -huh. They put the tack oil in to uh, help that bond. Okay. And then now we're going to have them come in and they're going to start running the asphalt out of the patcher okay. um, to fill in the hole. Yeah. You'll see when they go in, it always goes in a little bit high. Depending on the depth, it goes a little bit higher, a little bit lower, but um, that's kind of the experience that it comes in with an experienced crew. Uh, but they go in, they go a little bit high, and that you see on the back of that yellow uh, roller right there, once it's all said and done, they bring that back off and it vibrates and packs it back down. And Zen, we talked at the city about, you know, making the most of our resources, but obviously stretching them as far as they'll go. You told me earlier we have 1,200 uh, lane miles that we maintain. Yes. How many positions do you have in your street maintenance division? Uh, we have 25 uh, positions uh, when we're fully staffed. Yep. So 25 people to cover those 1,200 lane miles in the city. Obviously, uh, a lot of responsibility to, to cover for very few people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yep. All right. Thank you. So uh, what they've finished now is a mill and fill or a two-inch mill. Um, it's kind of called a couple different things. Uh, this was a hot mix application, which means that the asphalt that was put in, uh, the temperature wise, was somewhere in that uh, range of about 220 to 260 degrees. Um, the reason why we use a hot mix on this, uh, it's, a, it's an actual permanent patch. It's the same as the way the asphalt would go down originally on the street. Uh, the asphalt bonds better, it packs better, and it's able to last for, for years to come if done properly. 
the variation on that would be what you see a lot of times in the winter, uh, which would be a cold mix. And that cold mix is a similar product, but as its name uh, entails, like it comes out, uh, you generally put that down about 60 to 80 degrees is what the actual temperature of the material is. And because it's that cold, you're basically just hand packing it. It's only meant to be a temporary patch and it'll only last until the summer heats it back up. Uh, once it gets up and above 80 degrees, it gets really loose and it comes and pulls out of the, out of the, out of the, uh, the holes. Uh, you can contact us uh, directly via the pothole hotline at 325-7624, uh, or you can put in a, uh, a request via the Independence Now app on your phone. Okay, Dan, we're finishing up our job shadow out here today with the street maintenance division. Had an opportunity to see what some of the repair work to our streets look like and the crews that perform that. Um, what are some of the thoughts that you would like to share with our citizens about street maintenance and the work that you do? Well, I, I think I'd just like to say that, um, you know, I hope that the residents take away that our guys uh, do a lot of work. Uh, like you said earlier, the 1,200 lane miles of roadway and only the 25 staff when we're, when we're fully staffed out. So, um, you know, we appreciate their uh, understanding and you know, consideration when, they're, when we're doing the work. Um, just be slow as you drive through work zone areas. It helps our guys a lot. It makes our guys a lot safer. Um, and, you know, make those, get those requests in for the complaints, issues, and areas. Um, we're happy to take care of them. It just may take us a little bit to get to them occasionally, but we are working on them. Well, we all appreciate the work your crews do, especially here in the summer when it's a lot of variable temperatures out here and, and not the most ideal comfort. So thank you on behalf of the city for all the work that you and your crews do. Uh, and do you feel as silly with me holding this little microphone as I do? I, a little bit, yeah. It's kind of funny. <laughs> all right. Thank you.